Hello and welcome to Flat Cap TV. I'm comedian Casey Tubbett and this is episode three. As you can see, I've still got packing boxes behind me. So we're putting the episode out now because uh, we won't be able to do it this weekend. Plus I've got gigs doing Christmas shows because Santa and jokes go together, apparently. Um, but there's been some crazy stories for us to recap this week on Flat Cap TV. Uh, I went to see the new Bond movie last night, uh, Spectre. It's okay. I give it three and a half, four uh, product placement stars because that's what it is. It's a, just a long, big ad. Um, there are apparently 17 different brands linger on the screen, um, ranging from Tom Ford suits to Heineken to Bollinger Champagne, to Sony Mobile, uh, even the gun that Bond uses. Uh, if you live in a country that can sell you a gun, like, yeah, uh, you can buy the gun, which is crazy. But as I'm sitting there, the reason why they have the product placement is so you can kind of buy this stuff and feel like you're James Bond. When I went to the movie last night, to be honest, I didn't really feel much like an international spy. Uh, I was drinking cheap Prosecco and I ride a moped. So I'm not really uh, an international spy. I'm not really a man of mystery. You know, I barely qualify uh, to go to an Austin Powers themed fancy dress party. So Bond's getting hard to relax. And Daniel Gray... Uh, has come out and said he'd rather cut himself than do another Bond film, which is crazy because he gets a cut of all of the sponsorship. So I'll be the next Bond. Bond. James Bond. Uh, I'll never do that impression again. Uh, I promise. The other big story is the National Union of Workers, New South Wales Branch Royal Commission uh, is happening at the moment. And their secretary uh, has gone a little bit cuckoo with the credit card and racked up an enormous bill, uh, which included sex toys, lingerie, and a tattoo on his leg. Uh, and like, this is a no-no because I'm not 100% sure how buying a dildo helps workers' rights. Um, I don't think that this union protects sex workers and prostitutes. Uh, you know, I don't think pimps allow you to join a union to get good working conditions. And then it got to me thinking, how cool would it be if all of the sex workers, uh, all of the prostitutes, get together and protest so on the front page of all the national papers, walking down the street, because uh, they're street workers, so they can protest where they work. It's just a whole heap of prostitutes with signs up going, what do we want? Better work conditions and a union that represents our values. When do we want it? Whenever we can, I guess. So that to me would just... Be, that to me, I think, would just be funny, seeing a whole heap of hookers protest to get better working conditions. And if there are any hookers watching, I hope you get better working conditions. Um, also, in the, a crazy story here in Brisbane, we had, uh, down in, it was in the south of Brisbane, a police officer left his taser on top of his car and then drove away and lost it. This is in the south area of Brisbane, where earlier this year, um, police officers down there also lost a gun. Luckily, they found the gun um, shortly after. So they've lost a taser and lost a gun. So I think we may have to update the uh, the police training test. Uh, that could be possible. Because we've all been to a bottle shop and seen someone, you know, put a carton of beer on their car. And then as they drive off, they go, oh, oh I've got to remember the beer. Like this guy left a taser on there. So imagine like what the test would be, you know. So question, uh, where is a safe place to keep your taser? Is it A, in your holster and lock security, securely? Is it B, on the roof of your control car? Or is it C, uh, at home so your kids can play with it? Oh no, it looks like you've answered B, on the roof of your car. Okay, that's not the worst response because you haven't decided to leave it at home. So we'll just make you second in charge and you can be a sergeant. Like, I don't want these guys near weapons. You know, it's like a year eight high school student's excuse for why he didn't do his homework. I lost it. I was on the roof of my car. You know, the prostitutes stole it in their march. Um, you know, it's just odd. So, you know, I don't know how this guy are keeping their job. I think Sergeant Pies would do a better job. Like an actual Sergeant Pie. He can go, stop, or I'll burn you if you don't put sauce on me. In an interesting way. And the final story on Roundup this week uh, is Victoria. You guys, your public transport system has gone crazy. 
Because vandals have broke in. Um, so apparently vandals have broke in and stolen a train. Um, they apparently got the master key on the black market, which I don't know, um, you know, how you do that. Uh, if it's like eBay, if you go, ooh, a master key for all the Victorian public transport. I'd oh, like a train, please. And it takes you three days to get it. So you go, ooh, going to give you a bad rating on the black market. So apparently these guys have stolen a train with the one key. Like I live in a two bedroom apartment and I've got three keys. So surely we need more than one key. And who steals a train? Like there's no plan B on a train because you're on the train tracks. I'm thinking these guys must have just grown up watching too much Thomas the Tank Engine. So they just wanted to live out a fantasy. Now they wanted to steal a train and they had the Ring Ringo star and the rating it in the background. Now Thomas is waiting at the station, which is crazy. Apparently witnesses said uh, it was the first time they've ever seen the train on that line actually run on time. Uh, which is interesting. So the police now have got to decide whether to charge the vandals or make them head of timetabling. Uh, and just finally, before I go, uh, I, a story I, I forgot to mention uh, was David Hasselhoff is trying to change his name. Uh, he wants to drop the hassle, and so his name's just David Hoff, apparently starring in a new TV show, uh, which is loosely based on his life, uh, where it's going to be him laying on the ground, drunk, eating burgers, uh, I don't know, but he wants to drop the hassle. Like, he ended up getting famous again because of Don't Hassle the Hoff, like a whole breed of new fans. But he wants to drop the word hassle and just be known as David Hoff. I say no. If someone tells you to do something, you normally do the opposite. So let's just call him Hassle, like David Hassle. Like, and no one of the, his other co-stars are, are changing their name. Um, Kelly Slater was briefly in... Kelly Slater uh, was briefly in Baywatch. Um, he's over 40 and still competing uh, on the World Surfing Tour. Uh, Pamela Anderson hasn't changed her name. She's more famous for being in a sex tape, being banged by Tommy Lee on the internet and has a changed name. And of course, all the other uh, actors in Baywatch uh, haven't changed their names because they all have jobs in coffee shops and bookshops. Uh, thank you for watching Flat Cap TV. Um, subscribe to... Uh, Casey Talbot Comedy's YouTube channel, and we will see you next week.